Red Sox going for their third straight win with Clay Buckholtz on the hill. The right-hander coming off a strong performance against the Yankees last Friday. Top of the first gets some early support. Base is loaded, two out. Mike Lowe draws a walk, so J.D. Drew scores. Sean Markham not pleased his third walk of the inning, 1-0 Boston. Top of the second, game now tied at one. Well, not for long. Bill Hall going yard, number 14 on the year. Red Sox reclaim the lead 2-1. Top of the fourth, Bill Hall, can I get an encore? Kalish off again, Hall hits a high drive to deep left field. Snyder looking up and it is gone. Bill Hall has gone deep for the second time tonight. This is a two-run shot and it puts the Red Sox on top 4-1. Bottom of the frame, Hall taking care of business in the field. Tags Yunel Escobar on the run and throws to first to complete the inning ending DP. We move to the fifth. It's now 5-1, two on, nobody out. Adrian Beltre bids Markham farewell. Fly ball to deep right field, sending Batista back at the wall. That ball is gone. Three-run home run for Adrian Beltre, his 21st of the year, and the Red Sox open it up to an 8-1 to lead. Markham allowed eight runs and seven hits, including four homers in four-plus innings of work. Later in the frame, Bill Hall beating up the bullpen. This time he settles for small ball. Low scores on the RBI single, 9-1 Boston. Bottom of the eighth, it's now 10-1. Clay Buckholtz still dealing, one on, two out, and he gets Jose Bautista to ground it to the force out at second. Nice stop there by Marco Scudero. Buckholtz gave up no earned runs over eight solid innings. He scattered five hits and struck out four. Buckholtz wins his third straight decision as the Red Sox pound the Blue Jays 10-1. Bill Hall and Adrian Beltre both homer and combined for five hits and seven RBI. Catcher Jared Salta-Lamacchia was recalled from the minors before the game. He came in as a defensive replacement in the eighth.